Hey guys, how's it going? I'm trying a new style of video where I record segments of my thoughts and then I will put it together and see how it goes. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Aurora Cannabis and how delusion is both good and bad for the company. Yes, the Aurora shareholders who are currently holding onto the stock is getting less value for each share they hold, but at the end of the day, the company is trying to grow aggressively and this will only benefit shareholders in the long term. But for short term p traders, I feel that this could cause the stock to decline in price. But this is only a theory and I'm not sure exactly what will happen. Right now, I'm at $4.4 billion, I feel like Aurora is undervalued. But at the end of the day, I don't know what will happen because I don't like to predict the stock market. I know that in the long term, Aurora is going to be a giant and is going to be like the Amazon of the cannabis industry. At least this is what I believe. Once Aurora acquires Metrolief, this will cause the stock to dilute to 920 million shares. In order for someone to own 1% of the company, they would have to own 9 million shares of Aurora Cannabis. This is just a theory, but I believe that Terry Booth probably own, only owns between 10 to 20 million shares, so he owns probably 1 to 2% of the company. Let's compare a company called Snapchat. Yes, it's a horrible company. They're doing really bad right now, and they're starting to lose shareholder support. But that's not the point. The point is they have 900 million shares and the company is valued at $13 billion. Aurora Cannabis currently has 561 million shares outstanding. And once they acquire Metrolief, they will have probably 920 million shares. In order for the company to be worth $8 per share, the company will have to be valued at $7.2 billion after the merger is completed. You can take a gamble, sell, and hope that the stock drops down to $5 to $6 and get an awesome buy. But at the end of the day, what you're doing is pure gambling. My best advice is to slowly buy in and keep watching and monitoring for low price drops because Aurora is a good company to buy into but if you gamble and attempt to buy at a better price sometimes it can work out but sometimes you can get distracted by another stock because humans don't like to wait and having money on the side sometimes you get irritated and sometimes you get distracted by another company. Making a lot of money off Aurora, Afria, Canopy are over. Right now if you were to invest into any of these companies, you're investing into it because you believe in the company and you're trying to make some money, not a lot of money. The best way to make a lot of money is to invest into either Namaste, Radeon Technology Industries, or Hemco because all these stocks are under $2 and are considered penny stocks. Penny stocks can make you a lot of gains but can be very risky. But these three companies I have done a lot of research on them and I believe that they're truly safe companies to invest into and over time you will probably make money off them. Thanks for watching. This was an experiment. I did not use a script for this video. I just spoke from my mind and gave you my thoughts on the whole share dilution. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs up down. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.